Okay, I know some of you wanted to know how to print the um, Midori Traveler's Notebook DIY Fish inserts. So this is the PDF file. Um, this is on a Mac and I'm using an HP printer. So I'm just gonna go to File and Print. Now, I don't exactly follow the instructions that come with it to print it. Um, how I print it is I go to, let's see, I, so I leave it at 100% scaled. Sorry if this is shaky. Um, I go to paper handling and then I want to print the odd pages. So I print the odd pages first. That's all I check. I don't check anything else. I also go to, you know, if I'm printing on inkjet paper, I'll go to paper quality type and like change it to inkjet paper, but the, I'm using regular paper just for this, you know, video. Um, I also print it at best quality. So it's not like printing so fast and all skippy and everything. And the lines, lines are just clearer when I print like this. Now down here is the color options. If you want to, so when I print mine, there's like a little bit of a, like a pink tinge to the shading of the boxes which I kind of like. Um, however, it uses a bit of the color ink. So if you want to print on like grayscale, um, which I have plenty of black ink, so you could e so you could go to, to grayscale and then just use your black cartridge only and then just print it. So when this prints, it's going to print the odd pages. Now I'll show you what to do once that prints. It's going to come out and print um, and we're basically going to take, so when it all comes out on, on, you know, the tray, you're going to take the top paper and put it on the bottom and then feed the whole stack back in. You know, you're going to continue to layer the papers. I'll show you when it prints out, but, um, cause it's kind of confusing to explain. Uh, but I know videos definitely help. So I'm going to let that print and then I'll come back and show you what else to do. One of the printer, um, I, the printer is up there. Um, I literally just took the stack that printed off the tray. Now I'm going to take this top paper and put it on the bottom. Take this one, put it on the other, you know, and restack them this way. Do, 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 do trying to do this one handed too so it's probably gonna take longer I'm just gonna keep recreating the stack the other way now what I'm doing with this is so when I reprint so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna feed this in the feeder tray and then I'm gonna um, when I feed it back into the feeder tray you know I'm gonna print um, the even pages. Now I don't have to, I think Fish's instructions say to, you know, print um, like reverse pages or something like that. This just reversed the pages. So you don't need to click that when you feed this back into the tray. So eight, I, I'm printing with an HP printer. So when the printer prints, it takes it out of the feeder tray and it feeds it through the printer like this. So when I put these back in the feeder tray in the bottom where it gets the paper from, I'm going to put them in with this side facing up. So when it feeds it, it's going to print on the other side like this and it's going to come out printed on this side and they're all going to stack up. So I'm going to stick this back in the printer, go back through the exact same menus that I did to print the other side um, and just click even pages instead of the odd pages this time. And then when you print it, it should, everything should be in the correct order. And then you just go by and, you know, you go back and you fold it. You're going to fold it this way because I think July is actually the center of the book. So you're going to fold it like this. Now, <clears throat> in her instructions, it says to make sure that you bind the book first. You know, whether you staple it or sew it or however you want to do it. If you need a video on how to sew a book, I can do that as well. Um... So 
make sure that you don't cut these pages, even though it's tempting because it seems easier. Don't cut the pages before you put them together. Um, I mean, you can. <laughs> There's not, you know, it's always a choice to, to cut them. But when you bind them, you know, I guess, I guess theoretically you could, you know, put these a couple sheets at a time through a paper trimmer. Um, I, I bind the book even with the cover on it. I bind it and sew it together. And then I cut it with a, you know, with a Stanley knife and a, a steel ruler. And then I use binder clips to hold the ruler in place. So, um, it comes out even every time and, you know, perfect little books. Um, I think I actually have one to show you. Let's see if I can get it. Sorry for the shaky camera. So here is my put together book. Is the front? Nope. Okay, I haven't labeled it or anything yet. So this is the um, I pr I just printed another copy last night for um, my exercise journal. So you know they come out like this. So I all I actually printed this twice last night, and for one of the prints, I think the I think the paper was too thick, and it was grabbing like two pages at a time. So it it messed up the printing on one page a little bit in the other copy that I made where it like printed on this page, but this one's fine, which isn't a big deal either because it just printed on this page, which left this page blank, which is also fine because I could just put a picture or something here, but the rest of the book was totally fine. Um, so like I said, July is here. I think it's the page after the center. So, you know, this is what it's going to look like when you open it. And I think Fish has a flip through on her, you know, website. So I hope that helped. I hope it made sense. Um, like I said, you're just going to stick this stack directly as it is, obviously, you know, straighten it out, stick it in the bottom feeder tray. If you have an HP printer, you know, you have to, I think the most important thing is to pay attention to how your, your printer is going to print. So if you know that your printer, most household printers are, you know, they're small, so they flip the pages this way when they print. Things like, um, you know, those big Lexmark printers at offices and things like that probably don't necessarily feed it that way. You know, they may take the paper straight in. So um, you just have to, you know, pay attention to how your printer prints and logically you know sometimes i've even taken a piece of paper and like flipped it like this just even before it prints just to um you know get a feel for what's going to be on the other side um and and trust me i've i only know how to do this and all of other you know the pages that fish has from trial and error and you know practicing on the cheaper paper first and with just black ink and you know things like that so it, I, it may take all of us a couple times to do it, the, but to me, her inserts are worth it. So um, I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.